welcome to Round Asia with ANN. I'm Yasmin Lee. We bring you the most interesting stories from the Asian News Network, an alliance of 20 newspapers in the region, including the nation. I'm Abigail Alarte. Just over a month after the death of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs, people worldwide have taken a keen interest in the life of a man described as a creative genius and visionary. In China, fans of Jobs are cobbling up copies of his book, Steve Jobs, the Exclusive Biography, written by Walter Isaacson. But these aren't the usual kind you'll find anywhere. Book peddlers in the remote parts of Shanghai have cleverly devised a way to sell more, print pirated versions of the biography. The China Daily reports that book peddlers on the streets can actually sell a dozen in a day. These books are far cheaper than the ones that are being sold in bookstores and online. Pirated versions are sold at just over a dollar compared to ten dollars, the usual price of the book in Chinese bookstores. Just to show you how popular the biography is, watch this clip from uh, taken last month when the book was launched in China. As with his products, Steve Jobs has the ability to make people form a queue. Hundreds of fans of the late Apple co-founder waited outside a Shanghai bookstore to get their hands on a copy of his official biography, which went on... The version of Steve Jobs' biography also comes in both Chinese and English languages. The pirated English editions are about $5 each, compared with the $30 tag of the books sold online. Chinese sellers say the English version is actually selling better than the Chinese version, and this is because most readers are young and well-educated. Most of those who have come to the stores are under the age of 30. But like any other pirated book, the copies are of poor quality and riddled with typographical errors. Book piracy in China is said to be a multi-billion yuan business. Counterfeit bestsellers can be found all over the country. Estab Estimates show about 40% of books sold in China are pirated, or about 500 million unauthorized books produced a year. In fact, um, just after the streets were awash with the pirated books of Steve Jobs, Shanghai officials urged residents to call the hotline 12318 to report the peddlers selling pirated copies. But the bookstores themselves said they are not affected or worried about the rampant piracy. One store said all 300 copies of Chubb's biography were sold out within a week's time. For some, over 20 copies sold every day. The bookshop owner said most of the potential buyers are young anyway and would not want to buy pirated copies. One loyal fan of Chubb's actually said it's most unthinkable to buy a pirated copy of the biography. He said that if one is really fond of something, then you should support the real thing. Well, pirated or not, Jobs, uh, the book will actually remain in the bestseller charts worldwide. It is predicted that the Jobs book will remain as the biggest selling book this Christmas. And that wraps up today's edition of Around Asia with ANN. For more updates in the region, visit our website at www.asianewsnet.net. This has been Yasmin Lee. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at asianewsnet.net and watch our videos on YouTube at Asian News Network One channel. This has been Abigail Alarte. Thank you for watching.